What's up guys, it's Dante here, and I'm going to do a video, like I said, if you've seen my last video about Christmas and all that, about happy Christmas Eve and all that sort of stuff, is I'm going to do like a video showing what I got, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to show you, you know, try to make it, you know, as cool as possible, um, so yeah, I'm going to cue the montage music cue, you know, just to kind of make it more interesting, anyway, let's see. Alright, one of my most favorite ones. The cat's kind of on it, but I got in Infamous, Second Son, Delson's Rose Best. Um, pretty iconic, if you ask me. I mean, yes, that Delson Rowe is like one of those characters where some people will kind of, you know, 50-50 on it, but I personally like Delson Rowe. I mean, from, <clears throat> I mean, like, when it comes to Infamous characters, I'd probably either be a lot like Delson Rowe or Coma Graf, you know, the good versions of them, if you know me, but yeah. I can see myself pulling off Delson Rowe. For sure, if I cosplay, so I just need the red beanie and all that sort of stuff and grow my hair or something like that. Um, but yeah, one of my most favorite ones. The vest alone, even, it wasn't not cheap either, I think, but remember it was like 60 bucks or something. But like the full set was like about 100. But then again, that's like half of what I bought for the like, Virgil cosplay, but you know. Yeah, and there's the cat. The lighting sucks, but there's the cat. You know, people. some people say that cats are not lovable, they're actually really lovable more than people think. I mean, cats are really mellow and just tend to themselves, so that doesn't mean they care for, care for their owners and stuff. Um, I mean, seriously, like, when I was, uh, I know it's off topic, but, like, when I was at <coughs> a family member's house, there was a cat there, and that cat was literally around me the entire, most of the time. But, yeah, um, yeah. Off topic, but, yeah. Next one. Alright, another one. As you guys may know, I play guitar. Um, I got a, a new guitar strap for my guitar. It looks really cool. I think it will look, go well with my classic acoustic guitar. The whole seam and all. But yeah, um, it looks really cool. I also got some uh, gu guitar picks, new guitar picks. Not all of them but are new, but there's... I, mean, I put, decided to put all my new, you know, pick, all my picks in here along with the old ones. You know, it's my new pick box. Anyway, next one. As you guys may know, I'm a Halo fan. And Cortana, she's, you know, Cortana. I mean, before she became all rapping, she was one of my favorite Halo characters. Um, but yeah, she's clear, see-through. But from my scene of the box, this thing puts the glow, so. But yeah, the reason why I took her out is because, well, the box is also not in the best of shapes. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna put her down. All right, I'm gonna put you right here for now. You know, so, sit tight. Um, this is the box. Um, but yeah, yes, the box alone looks okay, but like the problem was that this uh, thing was like literally halfway open, sort of, um, like right here, so it's, it definitely takes away the value for sure. Um, so I just decided, you know, to take it out. But, in order for, but the thing is though, there's a collection on here. If I wanna get that legendary Thing up there's a set I have to follow. Master Chief, Dutch, Gakko Kort Cortana, Arbiter, and this Grunt. Now this is the box, you know, so I might keep it so I can remember which ones to collect so that I can get this full set and then click completes the collection. But you know, other than that, yeah. Unrelated note, this is the box for the Widowmaker figure I showed er earlier. Um yeah. Next one. I got cool, you know, pants. I like these type of pants. Like when it comes like, you know, working out or just relaxing. I like, I prefer wearing like stuff like this. You know, pajama stuff. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Next one. I got, I got a drone. This is the one I didn't expect I would get. But I think this one might help my YouTube channel a little bit. But, you know, I don't know, I never even thought about having a drone, you know, and I haven't really cared much for it. But, you know, I might give it a shot. I mean, comment below if you think I should do maybe some videos or something, if I could literally find a way to attach my phone onto there. Because that's like the only way I might be like, I actually would be able to get on YouTube, because like I said, I like a PC. Like, especially a good one. I mean, those are not cheap, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that. Next one. Now this one is an interesting one. I actually looked really good in it too, surprisingly. Apparently I got a poncho. And I know that you guys might say, ooh, this guy's gotten a poncho because of Star Wars Fallen Order. Probably. 
I actually look surprisingly not bad in it, especially with certain outfits with it. But yeah, um, yeah. Apparently I look, apparently some people thought I looked a little bit like a monk with this thing on. Along with this other button up shirt that I kind of have that's also kind of cultural as well. Let me show you. Okay, wham, this, this shirt right here. Um, this one is, uh, from what I looked at, it's African American. And, uh, I'm trying to branch out on, you know, different clothing tastes that I thought would look good in. And honestly, when I tried on this, I looked really good. But then again, a lot of people kind of could be confused and think it was like literally a Japanese monk type, like, outfit or something like that. Like, which he kind of did. I mean, huh, might have to shave my head and wear, wear something like that and be a monk or monk YouTuber or something. I don't know, just kidding. But yeah, um, but yeah, that's the shirt. It's a Native American, kind of like Black Panther. That's actually another part reason why I had it on my wish list, because you know I'm a big Black Panther fan, and I really wanted to try something like this. Um, you know, that also I want just also want to support other cultures too. You know, like you can't just just wear just normal casual, normal American, everyday American type, you know, shirts. You know, I want to try to branch out and actually wear other clothing too. Especially just in case I've actually traveled to said area, you know? And it's kind of good to look the part, you know? I mean, it looks really cool. I, I look really good with it. Really, really good in it. Um, but yeah, my most favorite other clothes would probably be the Delson Row vest, because that, like I said, that was definitely not cheap, and then I was written it looked really cool and came out really cool, and it fits perfectly on me. Anyway, the next one. Okay, I got, this one's an interesting one. Okay, for those who had a problem, or find Sharknado scary, well, just imagine sharks in space with lasers. Huh. <laughs> anyway, next one. Wham! Another pajama pants, along with this. Um, but yeah, um, this is another pajama pants with an eagle on it. Um, with eagles and spirit type stuff. <clears throat> But yeah, eagles and like I think that's lightning or something in the background. But yeah, um, pretty cool. Anyway, another one. Wham. Honestly, you gotta smell good for the ladies, right? <laughs> you know, more cologne. A guy cannot go wrong without cologne. Um, but yeah, just so you know, I got another thing and I gotta save best for last. You know, I think I still got a few more things to show you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's if I could find it. Anyway, next one. Bang. I got the, I got like a, sh like a Hawaiian shark necklace, which from when I heard it's a real shark necklace, and shark teeth too. It's not like one of those big ones or whatever, but, um, yeah, um, pretty cool stuff. And speaking of necklaces, let me show me out my other one. I have it hanging right here, and if you guys had, can I even recognize it? Well, you must be living under a rock and playing Uncharted. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, anyway, this is Sir Francis Drake Ring. Been in a big, big Uncharted fan. So, you know, had that on the wish list and it looked really cool. So, you know, this is a little too long. So I might have to get like another one that's not too long. That or maybe trim it down or something. This is a little too long. But, um, all in all, pretty cool. I'll say hello to my Lady Death right there. But yeah, um... Not a new poster, but you know, figured, you know, a show for the video. I think she may have a crush on me though, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, um, I can't really show you, but I also got a phone case, because you know, it's on the phone for one, and I don't want to like, you mess this whole film up, but I'm just going to say it has a wolf on it, and it's definitely a lot more better than the one I had before. Anyway, next one. Oh wait, whoa, then before I change it, that's my old one right there. <laughs> I mean, I like this one, truly not better. Much more better, much more comfortable. Anyway, next one. Um, got uh, Star Wars Fallen Order, the second sister Inquisitor. She was actually a pretty interesting character. I actually wouldn't be, I think, would have been kind of cool if we had like maybe some playable missions in the Fallen Order where you play as the second sister. Would have been a lot more interesting. It would have been interesting to kind of see the dark side, you know, side of the Force, you know, <clears throat> not just the <coughs> light side. <coughs> But I think it would be kind of cool to play as her. Um, maybe, perhaps, maybe as like a DLC or something that they plan on doing DLC. Um, anyway, yeah. 
restore some love. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's about it, I think. Oh, hold on, I'm going to look through, but yeah, if I find one, you'll see. Anyway, next one. Oh yeah, and this is another, another one of those pants. Dragon Ball. Pretty cool. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, bring it to, you know, uh, back to, you know, camera to me, you know, just to kind of talk, you know. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna cut away from this one, because this one's extremely important. Um, apparently my dad, I only got a whole bunch of money from him, but he spent literally over a thousand dollars on a on suit stuff. And from my nose, the meaning behind it, you know, this, you know, this, you know, I guess, I wouldn't say passionate torch, but like, you know, basically being a man, basically, you know, that I'm in manhood and just, you know, that he sees me as, you know, a grown up, a grown up now. Um, but yeah, I got like a belt, um, a vest, it's like kind of, he said it was kind of like Western oriented. He said we're, we're, we're still, we're actually gonna get it all outfitted. Like we're gonna get like the jacket and everything. Um, the shoes and, um, he said, <clears throat> you know, I might need it for the next 25 years or something. But, you know, yeah, I do appreciate him for that. I mean, I don't, I doubt he's watching this, but, you know, I do appreciate him for it. You know, it's not exactly what I asked for, you know, for first, but I do appreciate it though, that he, it took a lot of thought. You know, it's not what I asked for, and it was not on my list, but it did take a lot of thought, I do appreciate it. Especially the meaning behind it, you know. It's the meaning that counts, you know, the thought that counts. Um, yeah, I think these are, are these socks or something? Yeah, I think they are socks or something. No, wait, I don't know. I don't know what those are. I think those are socks or something. Yeah. But yeah, socks and ties. So admittedly, I'm not good at tying a tie. Like, I suck at it. Um, but yeah, I might try it on just to kind of get a fit and just, just to make sure if it fits. That's what he told me, just in case they need to be outfitted or not to, to my size or not, but, you know, yeah. Oh yeah, also, um, that's pants shit right there. I also got some new kicks. I'm a super kind of guy. And, uh, pajama, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it back to me. The meaning, I'm gonna turn it back to me. So you guys see uh, shortly. That concludes the the what I got for Christmas video. Uh, oh yeah, I also got a few more games that I got for my Xbox One. Some of the 360, but then but you know my Xbox is backwards compatible. But yeah, like um, one of the games, Two Human. I remember playing that like a long time ago, back when I actually had a 360. Um, this is like an OG game. True Xbox people remember the game, this game. And uh, I remember playing it back when I was I'm back in the 360 days, you know. Pretty cool. Um, even comes with, it's like, like actual, comes with a book and everything. But yeah, true OG Xbox people <clears throat> remember this. Um, yeah. Then also got. Hill of the got another copy of that, because something happened my other one a while ago, and uh, yeah. Got in Gears of War collection as well, I um, really wanted to get back into that. Um, and a portable charger, which I really need. Um, but yeah, um, that pretty much just concludes, <laughs> concludes about that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed your Christmas and all sorts of stuff. And uh, like always, let's rock, baby.